Welcome to Bay Chat for week three. I'm Marcus Howie. And I'm Pat Ray. And Jackson is sitting somewhere doing his work and is absent. Dad. What a week of rugby last week. All around Bay rugby kicked off. And we had the Bay White Prem men's kick off last week and there were some spectacles and there were some hidings, Pat. There was some uh, cracking games out there last weekend. And uh, we we're going to get stuck into them shortly. Um, any highlights for you over the week? We missed you last week, Mr. Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't, we won't talk about my absence. So, uh, <laughs> a number of illnesses that we don't need to talk about. Okay. All right. So, um, we were going to do this at the end. We'll go through the highlight of the week. For me, it was uh, the All Black and Black Fern Sevens Open Day out here on Blake Park. It was a pretty spectacular day. We had 500 kids from around the Bay, kids uh, from all sorts of clubs, schools, uh, you name it, they were there, and all the superstars out there on Blake Park, Pat. Nice, nice. What was it for? Um, so they were just basically um, showcasing the Black Fern Sevens and the All Black Sevens. Uh, the boys and the girls did their trainings. Well, it wasn't um, because it's 100 days from the Olympics, was it? Oh, probably, yeah. It yep. was indeed. <laughs> Um, and then they, they all jumped the fence and came and ran lots of little games and activities with the kids. Um, and it's quite cool to see uh, how they just pull out activities out of thin air and keep the kids engaged. Awesome, awesome. Plenty, yeah. plenty of sausages and ice creams? Uh, yes, Mr. Neil Alton was busy uh, giving away lots of free sausages. So um, we fed the community, which was really, really cool. Nice. Um, and then it was awesome to see every superstar stand out there and sign autographs. So... Um, that was pretty cool. Uh, and lots of giveaways too. I see a lot of kids walking away with players' kit. So I, I think there might have been a couple of staff members being fanboys and fangirls there as well. Uh, yes, they were. Yep, yep. That's particularly our um, Alitsi Olo, who, man, that guy walked away with a whole handful of gear. I'll be having words to him later on. <laughs> Did he give you anything? No. Not even a free pair no, of socks? Nothing. Man, that guy got so much kit that it wasn't funny. Because it's all about the kit, right? Yep. Anyway, let's get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, so let's start with uh, this weekend's round of matches. We start with the AR Plus Baywide Premier and the games of the round. Sorry, the games this week sees. Just waiting for our graphics to catch up. Here we go. Tauranga Sports are hosting Tapuna. Hootie is hosting Whakarewarewa. Greta Maris is hosting Melbourne Sports. And Maris and Michaels are hosting to Pookie Pirates. Right, so back to that first one. Back at Total the Domain, your most fa uh, favourite ground around the bay <laughs> during <laughs> next season. Oh, yes, I love the Total <laughs> Domain, right? Building a grandstand and taking it down every year. It's otherwise known as the Jurassic Park, the Raptors. Um, it is the game of the week. They're taking on the defending Baywide champions to Puna. Thoughts on this one, Pat? Look, I haven't seen much Premier Rugby so far. We're only into round one, and I had the pleasure of watching uh, Mount Mulanui last week because they're assessing one of the referees. So, haven't seen much, but uh, there's a team slowly bubbling under the surface. We won't talk about them now, it's too early, it's only week two, but uh, really excited about what's coming along in Baywide Premier Men's. So, Tauranga, fresh off uh, playing the newly uh, promoted Maris and Michaels. They gave them a bit of a tickle up. Maris competed in the first half, but generally with these new sides, they, they fall away in the second half. And Tapuna playing against Judea. Uh, from all accounts, Tapuna put on some spectacular tries, um, but uh, from the reports, they got a bit try line greedy, and they left probably 15 to 20 points on the park. Wow. 
uh, I see from the results that the Fakari Uriwa and Angatawa match was quite close, so that must have been a, um, a pretty good game to, to have been at. Went down to a nail biter. For me, I'm going to back the, uh, the the Army. I think the Army will get up over the, the Raptors by five points for me in that one. Yeah, I'm going to sit on the fence. Okay. <laughs> I'll be sitting on the fence a lot this year. We fucking splinters out of my backside. <laughs> All right, the Maroon and Golds, they're at home. They're hosting the Papaka. Uh, last week, both teams went down. Uh, Nui at home, um, they're still looking for a bit of form. They sort of back into the table last season. Papaka, they run hot and cold. Thoughts on this one, Kat? Yeah, it's going to be an interesting game, right? Um, I'm going to tell you I did really well in that type battle last week, and I watched Noor Taha and uh, Mount Mullinari put them to the sword, putting 50-odd points on them. So, uh, But, but Noor Taha worked hard right to the end, so I'm looking forward to seeing those boys bounce back from what was a tough defeat last week. Fuck it, whatever. They're back on the road again. They're two weeks in a row with a bus trip, so those boys will be uh, enjoying that uh, little hour-long trip together. They're heading to Huria. Uh, Huria, fresh off playing Tapuna. Um, it's always nice to go to their home ground and enjoy a kai afterwards. I'm going to back the way of fucker. They were they were in this one. I think they'll be too strong. They come with a massive pack, um, and I think they'll be too strong for Judea. I'm going to go like, 25 points. It'll plus. be a good game though. Um, you know those those teams don't they don't give an inch. No. So it'll be a pretty good game. So if you've got nothing happening tomorrow, get on down to Hulia's ground. It'll be a good tight tussle going on down there. Back to the uh, Papaka match. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna call it another close one. I think Papaka might just get over the line with their uh, with their slip back line in the in the late stages of that one. Grit and Marist, Mount Monganui. I to me, I think this is going to be an absolute humdinger. Pat um, the Gurnites, as they want to be called these days, up against the Marlins. Uh, Marlins have taken a hit with some some talented players going going north. But uh, Brendan McEwen and Bull Allen have got the Gurnites humming at this stage. What are your thoughts? After week one. After, week, after one. week one. Look, this is my pick of the match in the round. Greta Maris versus Mavuno Sports. I'm excited. I, I get to go along and watch uh, with my referee coaching hat on. I'm checking out both referees. Estelle Fyre, who's got the development game, and Tiana Anderson's got the main game. So uh, looking forward to getting down there and planting myself on the halfway line up in the club rooms. You get a good view up there, so and there might be a pot of hot chips and a lemonade oh, also sitting with it. So it can't beat that one. Yeah. Um, oh, again, the, the free coffee from Ren McEwen goes down well. I'm gonna pick Gretchen, it's gonna be a tight tussle. I think kicking is gonna be a key of this one. Who can kick the best? But I think Gretchen Maris, I'm gonna pick this one. Gretchen home by six. And lastly, it's the newly relegated Maris and Michaels promoted. Uh, sorry, promoted, <laughs> promoted. Sorry, Maris and Michaels. <laughs> Promoted to Bay Y. Um, they're taking on a hurting to put aside to Pukki. Sorry, I need some glasses. To Pukki, um, to Pukki will be stinging after uh losing last week to Greton. They'll be wanting to get up and prove a point. Maris and Michaels, they would be wanting to say, Hey, we are actually here and we can compete. But your thoughts on this one, yeah. Hodges, uh, he's done well, he's pulled himself together a really good squad at Maris and Michaels. So I'm not writing them off too too this um, too early in the stage. I think they'll uh, upset a couple of teams, mm. and to Puki are hurting at the moment. This could be an opportunity, one best time to take your opportunities when a team's down. I'm sure Matt Wallace uh, will be having stern words to his Pirates lads, and uh, they've got a very talented squad this year. So um, for me, I think as I said last week, if Maris can stay within 45 points or less, they're doing well. But for me, I think this will be a 50 pointer for the Pirates. Oh, how'd you like to say that? <laughs> so embarrassing, <laughs> Michaels. Just speaking of what I know. Um, let's move right, right along. Um, good luck to all those teams. Let's go to Eastern Wop Senior Reserve draw there. Back John and rattle away and perhaps uh, give the uh, referees a bit of a shout out at the bottom too. Yeah, we've got uh, Purupuru uh, hosting Paro, Matataas hosting Ruatuki Senior B, Kaurau, fresh off their first win last week. Uh, you, well done, boys. They're taking on Edgecombe. Uh, Tane Atua is hosting Tateko Senior B. Uh, those are the four games. Uh, got a couple of one o'clock kick, kickoff and two o'clock for the other ones when there's a... Um, 
senior game following on behind. Nice, nice. And moving along to the uh, Eastern Box senior competitions there. While we're waiting for that one to appear, again, well done, Kawaro. A big win last week um, to kick off your first time back in 20-odd years. Uh, senior men, Fakata and Ameris is hosting Ruatoki. Paro is hosting a Poriki. Poroporo is hosting Te yeah. Some good games. Some good games, and yeah. I see some good yeah. referees. I see Nico Blank has uh, been uh, allocated that game down there in Whakatane. So, yeah. um, Peter Hastings got Paro. And Sean Moore, he's a good local referee out there, Puru Puru and Te Tiko. So go well, lads, with the whistle yep, there. Yep, go well. Uh, moving right along, we go to the Western Bay of Planning Development slash Senior Local Competition into week three of that, I believe. Yep, they've been, uh, they started a couple of weeks early because there's 13 teams in that competition. So we head to the uh, the draw, Tauranga Sports hosting Tapuna, which is obviously curtain raiser to the to the, the Prems game, Rangiuru is playing Rangatawa, Puri is hosting Katikati, Greta Maris hosting Mount Monganui Development, Tupuki is hosting Papa Moa, and Matakana Island are hosting Arataki. Oh, Matakana Island, they'll be fizzing to finally get out. I think uh, week one they didn't play, week two they had a bye, and now they finally get onto the park to take on Arataki on their home island. Yeah, and Uncle Jax has managed to stitch himself up a trip to the island. He's probably got some Kaimawana waiting for him when he gets over there. Just be careful, Billy. Jax has probably got some Kaimawana coming from the locals, so make sure you hit them up. I hope someone's picking up the tab for the bar for him as well. And ED, Eastern Districts, uh, they've got the bye. Yeah, I watched their uh, match last week, Mount Monganoe Sports Development. That was a humdinger. She was close all the way, a last minute try in the end. Mount Monganoe Development snatched the win. So Edie will be hurting after that. I, that was a great game to watch. I just happened to be there watching the referee. It was a good game. It was close. That's awesome. And Edie were one of the form sides last year as well. I think they took out the Senior Local Cup right. as well. So. Yep. No, they're, um, they're well led. Uh, uh, the. The Mara family heavily entrenched at uh, Eastern District, so uh, yeah. Awesome. And what else have we got on here? Well, let's get out to Rotorua for the Central Bay of Plenty Senior A competition. And while we're waiting for that graphic, it's great that there's a couple of new teams. Well, they're not new teams, but Murupara are back playing again. Wow. Ripperaw is playing, and Galatea are back in the Central Bay competition. So um, lots of footy going on in Central Bay. So. Central Bay uh, senior men's draw, Rotuiti is hosting Kahukura, Nogotaha is hosting Eastern Pirates, Maris and Michael's Development are hosting Reparoa, Murupara is hosting Waikite, and Galatea have the bye. Have the bye. Any notable refs that you are uh, spotting on that list that we could make mention of? Maybe if I put my glasses <laughs> on, I might be able to read it. Maris and Michael's Development, Reparoa. We know him as Pudgy. But Pudgy's a very good footy player out of Tauranga Boys College and Tupuke Sports, who uh, was at Tauranga Boys College first 15 halfback a couple of years ago. Uh, and he, while he was playing his footy at TBC, he also picked up the whistle. Good Tupuke man. Um, and if he chooses to go down the referee path, he's probably got a very good opportunity in the career for him. But I don't want to steal him away from the playing space. <laughs> So once Pudgy's knees come right, we want to see him back out on the field carrying the ball into contact. Great young man. He's getting to see a bit of countryside here. He was up in Kati Kati last week, so he's certainly getting around. So yeah. um, obviously giving these young men an opportunity to travel and referee some decent footy. Cool. Excellent. Uh, and the Baywide Colts, proving interesting with a few new teams and some of them are rolling their sleeves up and getting to the main. Yeah, we've got eight teams in our Colts competition. Really excited about this. But before I talked about the games, I just want to stare down the camera and just let our Colts players know that we want to be playing rugby on the fields, right? Rugby is what we're playing, not fighting. <laughs> so just letting you know, four red cards in one match is not a good look. Oh. So oh. It's enough said about that. Let's get back to the footy. Oh. Yeah. So Papa Moore hosting. Bring our graphic back, please, Mr. Backstage Man. <laughs> so I'll get back off my soapbox. Here we go. Pub Moors hosting the Mount Marlins Colts. Totem Sports is hosting Tapuke. Tapuna is hosting Greer to Marist. And. Why, do they? No, no, no. There's another game. Just 
make that graphic a little bit smaller or move that up? Come on, backstage man, let's go. There we go. Oh, I could have got the wire. Yeah. Sorry, there are only seven teams. That's right. We lost Topo, didn't we? That's right, we lost Topo. Yeah. And let's go into our Sunday of spectacular rugby, the Bay Wide Women's Champs, week three. We've, uh, the champs have been given a game of the round, Pat. Yeah, yep, yep. So as soon as our graphics man catches up with us, there we go. Grant and Maris are hosting Waimana, the Portuguese hosting Nongata, Tupuna's hosting Galatea, and the Kahu Pirates team is hosting. I missed that because the graphic disappeared. Can't remember who they're hosting. But match of the round is a Portiki and Nogata. Oh, I had the pleasure of refereeing the Portiki Kahu game last week. That was a pretty tight match. There you go. They're playing to Portiki Pirates. They're playing to Portiki Pirates. Yeah. Yeah. Match of the round was or um, well, last week uh, the Portiki match at uh, Kahu Pirates. Uh, thank you very much to Lee Uarata and uh, and Brad Savage for hosting me. Great Kai afterwards. So uh, that good game. Uh, it was great to see some of the legends of women's rugby running around. Really? Yeah. Eliza Stevens. Uh, there's a couple of ladies' names up on the wall here. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's some, there were some of those stalwarts. You know, the Black Ferns. You know, grab her name. We've got an honours board up just on the just out of Pat's view, so he's able to look down and uh, get those names for us. He's got it. He's excited. Here he comes. Pat Ray, welcome back to the chair. I don't know how I should have forgotten this. Exia. Oh. Exia running off the back. Uh, no. Sorry, Exia. Yeah, running off the back of the scrub and carrying the ball oh. like a 20 year old. Yeah, it's fantastic. Hey, it's awesome to hear that the referees get looked out that looked after at these clubs. Pat Ray gets looked after like a king. <laughs> and uh, keep up that good work because there's nothing better than uh, looking after the referee as well as the visiting Manuhiri as well. I tell you what, when you get that notification on your phone and you've got accept or decline, first thing that pops into my head is what's the after match kind of like? Oh, stop. It, it makes it easier to go accept. <laughs> stop. It. Just. No, no, that's just me. The, some of the referees will actually just hit accept straight away. So. <laughs> hey, let's move along. The Baywide Women's, the AR Plus Baywide Women's Prems matches for this weekend as they start to come up onto your screen. Have we talked about the Opa game? Uh, yeah, that oh, here we go. Up. Match of the round. Marlins versus Rua Tuki and Tongariro versus Rangatawa. Poro Poro have the bye, yep. so that means our uh, our Keisha Church sitting over in the far corner of the office has the weekend has off. the weekend off, so she'll be doing some extra sessions, <laughs> I'd say. Probably doing some hundreds and some Bronco sprints. Good to see. Let's look at this Marlins match versus Ruotoki. The Marlins are the defending champions. They got knocked over last week. Yeah. Um, Ruotoki, I don't know a lot about. You probably know a bit more than me, Pat. Well, how do you think this will go? Oh, Richard McGarvey will there's some secret potion up that river, and uh, there's so many superstars of footy who have come down from that valley. But there's something in the water up there. But Richard Mugabe, he'll have his ladies absolutely humming. Mount Marlins, if they don't look out, if they don't come away with some points there, they could be in serious trouble because they've already missed the first game, lost the second, come away after three rounds. If they haven't got any points, They'll be, so um, it's, a long way they'll back. Be, it's a long way back. And they defaulted <coughs> round one too, didn't they? So that doesn't, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't help the chances. And they've still got a bite <coughs> them as well. Uh, Tongarino United, the uh, the girls from down Turangi, taking on the Papaka. Uh, I'm sure our chair of the uh, Bay Board will have his girls up and ready for this bus trip. Yeah, um, Tongarino um, made the step up with a Portiki uh, opted to play down the championship. And by all accounts, they're uh, holding their own. Good, good. Good. Uh, for me, I think uh, Papaka, they've got some talented girls on board there. Uh, so for me, I think they'll get home over this one. Let's uh, give Rangatawa a seven pointer. The bus trip will kill them off a little bit to start with. The good thing about Mount Marlins is they're home. Yeah. So they're not on the bus trip. So. All right. So let's look at our um, AR plus Baywide men's top point scorer and try scorers for the week after week one. There were some guys that got some hat tricks. Um, in the top try scorers, there we see Malakai Kude from Total Sports. He scored a hat trick. Uh, Patero Tukuvalu, he scored a hat trick from the mount. 
Tomasi from Total of Sports, he got a double. And Finlay Davenport from the Mount, he got a double as well. Um, over to the top point scorers, we've got uh, 19 points. So our yeah, achievement of the week there, Junior uh, Mato Tia from the, the Goonites, he got 19. Kicked five penalties off the kicking tee there, Pat. And by all accounts, uh, as I said earlier, kicking is uh, going to be crucial in some of these tight matches. Nicholas Emery of Total Sports got 16. And of course, these two lads that scored hat tricks, Patero and Malakai, both on 15 points get each. Them, get themselves on the points scorers. We turn to the Baywide women's top point scorers. <coughs> uh, Jesse Barakura from Nortaha managed to bag herself, not one, not two, not three, not four, but five tries last week. Well done, Jesse. Uh, Afu uh, managed to snatch herself three tries last week. Well done, Afu. Now we'll back you up there. She got a double. In the first double. week, and then she got one last week. It was her sister who actually got the double uh, last week. Uh, so uh, this, because we're in week two, some of these uh, some of these girls are, are working hard and just scoring them yep. uh, week by week. But good to see the two uh, Ulo sisters uh, sitting there in second equal. Cool. Nice. So top top point scores for women's uh, uh, call is on thirty two points. She must have bagged some tries. Unless she's a kicker. Jesse's. Jump. Oh, yes. Wow. 11 conversions out of 12 last week. Awesome stuff. That's fantastic. Uh, Jesse Parakuda with her five tries jumps to second. Afu Moimoi from Spooky Sports on 15. Lossi, uh, Afu's younger sister on 15. And Te Aumi Paul from Norta on 13 points. So that's awesome stuff, ladies. Keep up the great work. Hey, you'll notice there, um, Poro Poro, they had a win last week. Unfortunately, uh, we had no point scorers from them oh. in the system. So Nat's been working hard behind the scenes to uh, update us each week. Um, so Puru Puru Manager, please make sure that you are putting in who scores what tries. Uh, the results are all good and gravy, but if you want mentions on here, yeah, we yeah. need to see those in the system. Pat also has an update for 50 point bodies. Oh yes, so in the Baywide World Championship Women's, there's a competition rule uh, that we stop keeping score after 50 points. It was a uh, rule designed for well, last year and it fell out of the competition, uh, the participating team, so um, we won't be displaying the scores higher than the 50 point margin for the Baywide Championship Division. Awesome. So just remember, managers, making sure we're plugging in our team sheets, we're putting in who scores what try. So if number 15 scores a try, number 15 goes in. That way it can be recorded. And uh, your ladies or gentlemen can be uh, mentioned on our show uh, at the end of this uh, segment. It, it does help though that the player wearing the number 15 jersey is actually the person named in the team list. Correct. Because we had a couple of issues last week in my game. The, the only reason why I knew the tri world was because I knew her name. But she wasn't wearing the number oh, jersey. Yeah. Let's dig deeper on that as well. It's really important that we're um, in, um, inputting the, the correct team sheets. Yeah. Uh, let's not go into the dark deep reaches and start putting players who aren't registered in there. Or playing a player that is registered and it's not actually him because at the end of the day if cards get pulled don't they pat yep. we don't want to be uh putting people at judiciary that aren't registered or oh, it's not the right player. Not, yeah yeah because yeah. The, the wrong players were in the jersey right and that isn't a good look for any club yeah. um coach manager by doing that and there are severe punishments uh and behind the scenes with yeah. that one we won't go into too much detail just a heads up uh put that flag up there for you and make sure you're doing the correct procedures uh, now let's move along to finish the show. We talk about this every week the AR Plus Legend of the Month. Just a reminder, folks, the AR Plus Club Legend, thanks to AR Plus. Um, get your nominations in for any player that is 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. Get your nominations in. Admin at boprugby.co.nz. And uh, at the end of the month, your legend could be getting a wee prize pack. Thanks nice. to AR Plus. 
but remember it has to be nominated um so we know what's going on yeah but uh yeah so Tarangi Fraser as we said last week he raised the flag for 100 games last week nice um but we need a nomination from Whakarewa were able to know yeah, that yeah, yeah. uh he he's in the draw for that so um get your get your nominations in admin at boprugby.co.nz for the AR plus club legend that's all we've got time for this week pat it's been a pleasure always love yarning rugby let's get back to mahi and i'm marcus howie and i'm pat ray oh just a quick shout out to the hotipio boys on instagram we're not going anywhere you're welcome to come and be a guest on our show but no one's sacking anyone thanks for those comments on instagram that's all we've got time for nor or my stay safe out there and go and enjoy some club rugby over the weekend Mano Wave.